Yes. Today, I will be dealing with trigonometry. Trigonometry. On that trigonometry, we will be looking at the relationship between degree and the radian. Relationship between degree and the radian. Yes, I'll be drawing a cycle. Sorry, I'll be drawing a diagram to show the relationship between, let's assume that this is my cycle and this is the center of my cycle. We know that from here to here is nothing but radius. From here to here is nothing but radius. Radius. And in between is what angle theta. Let me call this place center O. Why this place? A, B. And this place to this place is the length of an arc. So I'll make that one to be what? S. Length of an arc S. Let me put. Length of an arc S. Yes. This is my radius. From here to here is radius. From here to here is radius. From here to this line is called the diameter. A line passes through the center of a circle, touching the what? Touching the circle. Touching the circle is called the diameter. Why the half of a diameter is nothing but the what? The radius. Now, in our uh, secondary school, those days, the uh, formula for the length of an arc. It's nothing but what? It's nothing but S, S, which is the length of an arc. It's nothing but theta for a 360 times 2 pi r. Theta over 360 times 2 pi r. So here, we'll be considering the length of an arc and the uh, We'll be taking our theta to be equal to 360. But before that, we'll be looking at the definition of a radian. That's a yes, the definition of radian. Here, the definition of radian of this theta of theta is nothing but s all over what r. The definition of a radian is the length of an arc over the what? The radius. The length of an arc, don't forget, let me write it here. S is equal to the length, length of an arc. Arc. Of an arc. So here, we'll be taking our theta to be equal to 360. Here, from this equation, if theta is equal to 360, don't forget that this is nothing but the definition of radian. Theta is equal to S all over R radian. Let me put it radian. So here, if theta is equal to 360, we take theta to be equal to 360. I hope you are following. If theta is taken as 360, then it means that from this equation, S will be equal to 360 over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. And 360, we cancel out 360, my S, which is the length of an arc, will be equal to 2 pi r. Let me assume that this is nothing but equation 1. Why this is nothing but equation 2? So from equation 2, we said theta is equal to S over what? R 
and uh, our s here is nothing but what two pi sorry two pi r so i will substitute two pi r for s in this equation so it then means that theta will be equal to two pi r over r it then means that r we cancel out r then theta will be equal to two pi but note that theta is nothing but what 360 so it means 360 will be equal to 2 pi then 2 can 2 2 here 1 2 here 180 so it means that 180 will be equal to what 180 will be equal to pi pi but don't forget that in this equation theta here is equal to what length of an arc over radius or in what radian so it means that everything here will be in what in rad in rad rad is the si unit of radius yes rad is the si unit of radius so it means that 180 will be equal to pi rad so here here shows the relationship between degree and the radian yes 180 here our uh, 180 here will be in degree while here is nothing but what rad now 180 degree is equal to pi rad so if i divide both sides by pi I'll be left with nothing but what here? One rad. One rad. One rad. So it means that one rad, one radian, one rad is equal to 180 over pi. One rad is equal to 180 degree. 180 degree over pi. And here also, I can also find my what? One degree. I want to know what one degree is. I will, still, I will come back here again. 180 will be equal to pi rad. Pi rad. So it then means that, it then means that, I will divide both sides by 180. If I divide both sides by 180 degrees, 180 degree then it means that this one will go then i'll be left with what here one degree which will be equal to pi rad over what over 180 so it means that one rad is equal to 180 degree over pi and one degree is equal to what pi over 180 Right. I hope you take note of that. So, in all these things, I just have to show you how we come about this. How we come about this. That is just my target. And you have to know that one rad is equal to what? 180 degree over pi. And uh, one degree is nothing but what? Pi over 180 rad. So, I'm just proving the formula for you. I'll be coming up on my next video with the examples. Thank you. Arime, Arime, Jero. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. Your comment is important to me. Thanks.